explaining how we are jumping from one um, concept of time to the next by uh, a single thought, by every choice that we make, it, it, it might appear that the reality before us is the same one all the time, but you're actually jumping around. Your consciousness is actually moving around as opposed to just the um, you thinking that your physical body uh, is is sitting in one uh, place. So that's that's one thing that's covered uh, along with. Um, uh, the concept of ascension, um, the, the lots of the uh, deceptions, um, and uh, again, one's ability to access this information because you know, it is encoded in in the air we breathe, in in everything. Um, huge focus on that. Huge focus is, is empowerment. Um, huge focus also is people coming into a realization uh, of the programs by which we've lived, that we've been living um, packaged lives, packaged concepts yes. um, that everybody gets. <laughs> you know, I say you get a travel package, you know, you come in, <laughs> you get your travel itinerary and you get a package and, and the package says, okay, here's the deal. This is how this reality operates. These are the things that you're going to go by. These are the beliefs you will have. You will have an assortment of things that may appear to be your own thoughts, choices, and beliefs, but they are part of a package. But we try to give you an assortment so you think that you know you're operating um, on on your own pure organic uh, concepts. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I I, um, I I explore that and present that to um, to people to really start looking at themselves and even to realize what you think, what you've thought that you liked all along. It could be a simple thing as as a color a specific color, you know, that's my favorite color. Mm -hmm. But it's so amazing to realize the associations, uh, the imprints, the things that we are associating, so many things in our lives that we think that we like or want. And it's generally attached to, again, that, that package, um, that social package, or just the overall construct um, of what we call the matrix then or the system itself. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, I could, I could go on further in that, but that, that's the basic premise. You understanding that you operate in a system that most people will define, yes, as the matrix, but you operate in the system, and the system has a specific format by which it will function. Now, that doesn't mean that one is has to be stuck within that format, but you don't realize that until somehow you are triggered and you awaken from that and you are able to um, operate in it and outside of it at the same time. But unless you figure that out, you are going to continue to operate by these programs. You know, when you talk about system, uh, my I'm thinking of that there's actually, or could be then, two different systems. One is the the human created system of course but what you're talking about now would you say that that's more actually of a construct of the of the world that we're currently in and then you know on top of that we have the human created system of the of the government of the controlling structure and so forth absolutely you you've got about two or three systems going you've got the system itself which if we if we look at the planet earth then i mean like all other planets but we look at the planet earth and we recognize that one let's let's look at the um the uh the, the gaseous laws uh which is very important to see to really recognize that to begin with the gaseous laws of 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 this um planet then um is structured in a way to accommodate a particular um form of life i think we can all agree to that now there is then another construct then as to how that particular form of life will operate or the experiences that can be had or are to be had within that particular construct based on um, the design of, of, of the planet, the gaseous laws of the planet. Obviously, our bodies are designed to function within that, those laws. So there is that construct, and then, of course, there is the governmental 
structure, the governmental matrix, the, those, that, those that rule, those that control. And, and that design is set up in such a way that that helps to ensure or to carry out um, the laws, uh, the, limited, um, the limitations then by which a human being will uh, operate. So that limitation then um, typically will disconnect you, an individual, from really seeing beyond the, the construct then, the limited construct of the reality in which we live. And that includes the whole concept of time and the sciences by which any of this um, operates. So you're just operating in this, this, um, this wheel um, of, of programs and the government, the systems ensure that limitation yeah. because you are too busy complying, you know, with the with these laws in order to really uh, pay attention to too much. So you, you you obviously you get your packaged religion or your packaged spiritual beliefs or whatever it is uh, as you as you uh, work at complying with these laws in order to not suffer the consequences of non-compliance. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. And my thoughts are also, you know, on, on the human body a little bit. Uh, you're mentioning that we're, I mean, would you say that we are in, in that sense time traveler, tra time travelers in, in regards to the human body or, or even our, well, I mean, we are on a, on a linear, you know, curve. We are born and then we, you mm -hmm. know, we live and we, we die. We're, we're on a, on a, on a treadmill here, so to speak, but um, right. would you say that the human body is so much more than that? You know, would, is this just a, a vehicle that oh, we're experiencing this in? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Uh, there is so much more going on here. It just, it, it, it's just, it's mind boggling. It's so um, huge in terms of what we no longer have access to in terms of our memory. And uh, yes, there's a lot more going on. There's a lot more capabilities um, that the human body has. And it, yes, it is a vehicle. It is a vessel. It's uh, no different than, um, you know, one putting on a, a space suit to go um, to wh whatever, whatever planet or whatever space you, you would uh, need to um, be outfitted for because you have to be able to operate, obviously, within the laws um, of, of that uh, space. So these bodies, we are, are being animated, obviously, by something else, by, by another um, uh, force, energy, which, which would be you. So there's an animation process that is really taking place. What has happened, however, is that because we no longer, we're so disconnected from that memory, then the uh, body goes on autopilot. And that's how we are operating by programs. We're operating on auto. So everything that we end up doing, most of what we do is automated. Your yes. brain carries a library of, of, um, of information, a, a library of acceptabilities um, that are, you know, basically programmed in there from the beginning, um, basically, well, I say the beginning of time to, to some degree, because there's a lot that we're not accessing. So there's, there's a point of information there where we have accepted what physical reality will look like and those things that we will uh, acknowledge collectively. And so the brain carries that library, a massive library, um, of those things, and that's what we operate by. And because of that, um, our perceptions become quite limited because unless we can um, perceive of something beyond the, um, the common library mm -hmm. then um, mm -hmm. that collective consciousness operates by, people don't want to step beyond that. If you, if, if you mention something that is outside of the scope of the program, um, they, people get very, very, they short circuit is what I say. <laughs> they get very upset with you because you're shaking their world. You're shaking the, their program. And, uh, and that's very uncomfortable. That's why it's necessary for, um, the powers that be to have us all sort of think or believe base principles because then it's easier. If everybody sees that everybody else is operating by some base principles, then we're comfortable. Hmm. 
Yeah, that's a, that's a good point. That's unfortunately how it seems to be these days. And you, when you talk about program, I'm I'm thinking of, uh, you know, we have different kind of factors here, so to speak, that that this might come from, or or rather the interface of this. I'm thinking of, uh, you know, gen- genetics or even DNA, or or would you say that this is primarily something that 